My name is Abby Harrison, but I'm better known as Astronaut Abby. I'm a 21-year-old aspiring astronaut. I hope to be the first person on Mars. It's hard to pin down the exact day or time or year that I started my space adventure, but I do remember when I set off on a path towards really making it a reality, and that's when I was 13 years old. The advice that I have for girls is to be ready to fail. And I know that that sounds really counterproductive, but I think that it's the most important thing that we can hear. There are so many times along your path towards success when you're going to hit a wall. Things like that are going to happen and it's going to seem like you have failed. And the truth of the matter is that it's not and that that's a completely normal and in fact a really important part of every dream. Fear is natural. The way that I deal with that is by recognizing that being afraid of something doesn't mean that you can't do it. It simply means that you have to work harder to do it. It means that you have to have a, a bigger reason to go for it. There were a couple times when people did outwardly say, because you're a woman, either you can't do this or you're not going to be successful. And one of those times was when I went to a flying school and I uh, went flying with a pilot and he asked me, well, why do you want a pilot's license? Why do you want to fly? And I looked at him and I told him my story. I told him that I'm going to be the first astronaut on Mars. And he, without even missing a beat, without thinking about it, the first thing that he said in reply to that was, well, no, you shouldn't, you shouldn't work on that because in 20 years, you're going to have kids, you're going to be a mom, and you're not going to want to go to Mars anymore. And my jaw just absolutely dropped. Like, this was one of the first times that I'd ever heard someone completely dismiss my goals and dreams and abilities to pursue them because I was a woman. But we went up on this flight, and when we landed, I will never forget this either. He looked at me and he said, I believe that you will be the first person to walk on Mars. Good luck with your pilot's license. And it was because I hadn't reacted to what he had said. I hadn't taken that to heart. And instead I'd been able to show him how passionate I was and how capable I was. And that I had this dream that I wasn't going to let go of. The advice that I would give to young girls who are struggling with their self-confidence would be to really look at the people that you're surrounding yourself with and ask yourself, are these people who are going to believe in me? Because I think that that's one of the most important ways that you can start to build your, your self-confidence is by making sure that the people that you choose to interact with are people who will believe in you. I'm Astronaut Abby, and this is The Female Lead.